up, guys? You're watching Matt TV. My name is Marco. Today, we're going crazy. We're going to make some fire shoes. I'm going to show you guys the process of making these shoes. And not only am I going to show you the process of how to make these shoes, I'm going to show you the process how to be the coolest kid in your school. If you're new to this channel, make sure to slap that subscribe button like you're slapping that. What do you guys slap? Comment down below what you like to slap. I don't know. I know what I like to slap. <laughs> But if you're not new to this channel, um, welcome back. I love all of you. As always, I always love you. Before I get into this tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to my actual self. Um, my Instagram will be on the screen right there, probably, or right there. Make sure to go follow me. I'm now going to head over to Hobby Lobby, get my crafts, because I love to craft. So let's go. Let's, let's just come with me. Let's go. Let's go! Hobby Lobby's not super far, but you know, it's a good amount of driving. So I'll check in with you guys over there. I'm honestly not sure where anything is, so I'm gonna, oh, it's right here, come on. It seems they do not have leather, and they only have fabric, and that is not what I need, so I'm gonna go ask if they have leather or anything, otherwise, this was an L. Hi. Um, do you guys have leather anywhere? Leather? We have uh, the fox leather on it. <laughs> Looks like this is the best bet. I'm gonna go look around a little more, see if they have anything better than this, but it's 50% off as well, so can't argue with the bargain. Okay, scratch that. Um, I found exactly what I was looking for, so this is not, we don't need this anymore. Balling on a budget. Okay, thank you. I'm also gonna need three colors of thread just to match the three colors of the flames. So I'm gonna go with red, orange, and yellow. This should be good. I might have to take this. Okay, so they had pretty much just about everything I needed. So I'd say that trip was a definite dub. But now I'm just gonna head home and hopefully the shoe turns out great. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm home. Okay guys, I'm now back in my lovely house. I have all the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. I have my leather, my white leather stuff and my three different threads. I also went ahead and grabbed my Paints. I got like my reds and yellows and oranges and whites and stuff like my fire colors. I think the first thing I need to do is just mix my three colors of paint. And unless you guys like watching people mix paint, I'm gonna speed this up. So I'll check in with you guys when I have my colors. All right, my paints are completely mixed. All the colors looking kind of pretty nice. So pretty much now I'm gonna be cutting this out and painting them the colors that I want each piece to be. But, before we can do that, we have to strip the factory finish off with my favorite tool, acetone. Alright, if you guys don't know the picture I'm going off, like when I cut this out, I'll pop it on the screen right there. Looking at the picture on my phone, I'm just gonna try to freehand it and probably f*** up, so I'm just gonna try. time to sew so I'm gonna go ask my grandma if I can borrow her sewing machine and then put these pieces together as best as I can because I don't know how to sew so don't roast me in the comments this is my sewing machine it's just from Walmart it's nothing special I'm starting out with my red piece because I already loaded up my red thread into this 
like the machine thing. So I'm just gonna bring the camera closer, zoom it in on here, and this will probably take me a long time because I am learning as you guys are learning. have all three of my flame pieces stitched together and done and you guys only got to see a very sped up version of how long that took me so I'm sorry I apologize that you missed out on all three hours of the fun that I had only thing left to do is put this on the shoes and call the fire department because this shit is about to be fire my Air Force Ones also are going to need some prepping, so I'm going to actually take off the swoosh that is already there and replace it with the one that I made. I think it's going to look really good. I could put it over, but you can still kind of see the other one under. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to cut this off, and hopefully this looks good. So I think I'm just going to poke it in there and like cut the threads one by one like this. swoosh off it's looking pretty good in my opinion and if you're wondering why I used the lighter over it it's just to burn off all these little frayed edges of thread that are still hanging on there now that that's off we're gonna have to get to this putting on the shoe my plan for this is to first use some fabric glue glue it onto the shoe and then go back with some red thread and stitch it onto the shoe in certain spots just so it stays on for sure and never comes off but once this is on it's literally gonna be heat on your feet like fire on your shoe, on your foot, heat on your feet. Simple as that. This is the glue I'm using. It is called Liquid Stitch. Just gonna be dabbing it on there, you know? So the flame is actually glued onto the shoe, but there's still some loose ends and stuff, which I knew would happen. So I'm gonna go with my red thread and a needle and stitch in the corners and edges to the shoe. The shoes are done. Actually, one shoe is done. So I'm gonna take the rest of my time today and finish up the other shoe. But you guys don't want to watch that because you already watched me do it once. So I'm going to show you guys some shots of the shoe right now. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoy it.